Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's Junior here from Pulling Guitar. Today we'll be learning how to play Get to Love by Wizkid. Um, this song is a, uh, it's a, I don't know how to describe the song. It's a very, um, it's a very catchy song and also very simple. Uh, I just heard the song today and I thought, you know, let me give it a go and see how it sounds on the guitar. Honestly, this guitar is not going to do it justice compared to what you, um, you hear in the original song. But well, this is just something that I figured out after listening to the song and I hope it helps you guys as well. So we're only going to be using three chords um, for the song and um, the chords we're going to be using are D minor. Uh, we have A minor. And then we have the E minor. So those are the three chords we're going to be using in this song. So uh, I will bring my camera closer up to just show you quickly how we play these um, chords. And then I'll also show you the strumming pattern I saw for use in the song. So for the D minor, what you need to do is to take your, your first finger, uh, you place it on the first string on the first fret. Second finger, you place it on the, um, the G string, second fret. And then you take your ring finger, you place it on the B string, third fret. It's strong from the D note, so that's right there, just on top of the G. That's the D. That's a D minor chord. And um, for the um, A minor, you take your first finger, you place it on the A, um, sorry, on the B string, first fret. You take your second finger, you place it on the D string, second fret, and then your ring finger is just gonna be underneath that. So it's going to be on the G string, 2nd fret, and you strum from the A. So, your A minor. And then the next chord is going to be your E minor. Um, the easier way to do this chord progression um, from the A minor is just to move um, your two, um, so your, your middle finger and your ring finger, just move them up one string each. So one there, one there, and you take off this finger. And you strum everything okay so that's how you play the three chords so in terms of um the arrangement for the song um so we start on the d minor and go to a minor and then we go to e minor we'll go back to the a minor Again from the D, and just to mention that this um, song is the beat is four beats per chord one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm gonna show you um, the strumming pattern that I'm using for the song. So I have the strumming pattern, which is the same throughout the whole song, but it just varies the intensity when it gets to the chorus. So the chorus is like punch, like a big bang, and then the intro and the verse is like more, it's more quiet. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean. So for the intro, I'll put stuff like this, and for the verse as well. And then maybe for the um for the chorus, I would do something like this. Okay, you can tell it's the same thing that I'm playing, but one is more quiet and the other one is is like um it's, it's fuller. And the the only reason why I chose this drumming pattern is because the song stays the same in terms of like the beat. The beat is actually the same, but you can tell like when the chorus is coming, you want to anticipate the chorus. You want something that is different from the verse. So I'm gonna do it slowly and then you follow me. So the first part could be down, up, mute. The next part, up, down, up, down, up, mute. Okay, so best to mute like this. Don't do this, because if you do this, it's just like you have to go back again. So use your tongue, so use this part of your um of your of your hand to mute let's try again down up mute up down up down up mute so we 
you play that with the song with the chord progression so you get your chord progression ready And one more thing, just make sure you're doing it fast to go along with the song. But obviously, if you're starting off, I really advise you to do it really slow. So you can obviously um, go um, and learn, learn everything or learn the way I'm doing it. And again, there's no right or wrong way of, of um, playing the song. As long as you get the chord progression in hand, in terms of strumming, you can actually make up something for yourself. At the beginning, when I first heard this song, I was just doing something like this. So I was doing something like that. It sounds so nice, but at the same time, it's so difficult to break down because I'm actually feeling the song. And you know, when you feel the song, that's when you become more creative in terms of how you want to hear the song. There you go guys, I hope this guitar tutorial has been really um, helpful and if it has, don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel, don't forget to like this video and if you have any song um, suggestion, just leave them down in my comments and if you have any questions as well in terms of this song or any previous songs I've done before, don't forget just to leave um, your comment below and I'll respond as, as soon as I can. I hope you guys enjoy learning this song. Have a great weekend. Keep on practicing. If you don't practice, you're not going to get better. So that's the secret. Practice the right thing. Um, make sure you always have something to challenge yourself. Maybe this week it could be on the strumming pattern, or you could even change from using your um, basic chord to using your bar chords. You can go for it. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.